The last room of our exhibition is devoted to various grassroots activities, aiming at drawing the attention of politicians, society, journalists, and all local communities to the challenges related to the climate and heat crisis. On the left, against the blue background, you can see Wojciech Radwański's photos from various protests of the youth strike for climate, a social movement which in the second decade of the 21st century emerged in various cities and places around the world, including Warsaw. Since then, young people have protested on a regular basis and have participated in numerous discussions and debates on Polish and international climate and heat policies. On the left of the photos of the Youth Strike for Climate, you can see a banner made by the East Initiative, comprised of several founders of the Youth Climate Strike who, after the Russian-Ukrainian war broke out, decided that when our reality is constructed in this way, in the context of the climate crisis and in the war context, that the key challenge is to walk away from oil and embargo Russian oil, since our everyday purchases of oil, petrol and various products made from them is equal to financing the Russian terror in Ukraine. Therefore, East combines the context of oil and fossil fuels with the climate, heat and war contexts. The heat crisis is merciless, as you know. In our exhibition, this fact is shown, among others, by Ukrainian children. Young refugees who fled from the Russian terror in Ukraine and found shelter in Poland. You can see various pieces of art titled Another Threat, children's illustrative reflections created by a group of young refugees from Ukraine under the supervision of Halina Dudar, Ukrainian painter, who also found shelter in our city after the war in Ukraine broke out. Since the spring of 2023, in preparation for the 15th edition of Warsaw under construction, Halina Dudar conducted regular art classes with children who began their new lives in Warsaw. Some of these workshops consisted of creating art on very different topics, and some of them were concerned with the climate crisis and various forms of expressions of our fears related to what the heat crisis involves and challenges which the climate crisis brings. In this process, children very quickly notice that the climate crisis is merciless. Regardless if a city is bombarded, whether it has access to water and various cooling methods or not, thermal conditions in a period as difficult as war are a serious challenge. In the middle of the room, you can see a work created by refugee children, but those that fled to Ukraine from eastern Ukraine. In the summer of 2023, Halina Dudar conducted similar workshops, but this time in Lviv. And this is how this sculpture was created. A sculpture devoted to the reflection on the sunny city, the heated city, and the necessity to move on from erecting tall buildings in the city, such forms result in the increase in the temperature, towards more vernacular, small investments which resemble the human scale and enable better circulation of air. On the wall, you can see the map of the world. A map created according to the non-Eurocentric model, showing the visualization of the estimated climate migration. As you know, there is an ongoing, very intense debate about refugees in our country. We are also quite divided in our reactions to various types of people seeking shelter in our country. While we are very open, although that too, with times becomes complicated, to the refugees from Ukraine looking for peace and quiet in our city, the situation becomes complicated when the necessity arises to help or be open to refugees from other parts of the world with a different skin color. On the visualization you can see the estimates that we made in collaboration with Dr. Habilitovana Dorota Heydrich from the Faculty of Political Science and International Studies of the Warsaw University. The estimates concerning the future and the number of refugees fleeing from climate challenges, climate and heat catastrophes in their places of residence who will undoubtedly seek shelter also in Warsaw and other places in Poland and Europe. 